Love from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. For other UCC, love is ambiguation. Love encompasses a range of strong and positive emotional and mental states. For in the most sublime virtue of good habit, the deepest interpersonal affection and to the simplest pleasure. An example of this range of meaning, meanings is that the love of a mother differs from the love of a spouse, which differs from the love of food. Most commonly, love refers to a feeling of strong attraction and emotional attachment. Love is, is also considered to be virtue, a virtue representing human kindness, compassion, and affection as the unselfish, loyal, and benevolent, benevolent, you know, violent concern for the good of another. It may also describe compassionate and affectionate actions towards other humans, oneself, or animals. Love in its various forms acts as a major facilit facilitator of interpersonal relationships and owing to its central psychological importance. It is, I mean, it is, is one of the most common themes in the creative arts. Love has been post postulated to be a function to keep human beings together against menaces, 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 and to facilitate the continuation of the species. Ancient Greek philosophers identified five forms of love, essentially Familial love in Greek storage, friendly love or platonic love, philia, romantic love, eros, eros, guest love, genia, and di divine love, agap. Modern authors have distinguished further varieties of love, unrequited, unrequited, quitted, unrequited love, empty love, compassionate love, consummate, consummate love, infatuated love, self love and courtly love. Asian cultures have also distinguished Ren, Kama, Bahakti, Meta, Ishk, Ishkui, Chest, and other var variants of symbiosis of these states. The tranquiller Theory of love suggests intimacy, passion, and commitment are core components of love. Love has additional religious or spiritual meaning. This div diversity of uses and meanings combined with the complexity of the feelings involved makes love usually difficult to consistently define compared to other emotional states. Definitions. The word love can have a variety of related but distinct meanings in different contexts. Many other languages use multiple words to express some of the different concepts that in English are denoted as love. One example is the plur plurality, plurality of Greek words for love, which includes Agape and eros, eros, eros. 
cultural differences in conceptualizing love thus doubt doubt doubly I think this is spelled wrong, but doubly dub doubly impaired the dis establishment of a universal definition. Although the nature of essence of love is a subject of frequent debate, different aspects of the word can be clarified by determining what is in love. Antonyms of love. Antonyms of love. Love as a general expression of positive sentiment, sentiment, a stronger form of like, is commonly contrasted with hate or natural empathy as a, as a less sexual and more emotional, intimate form of romantic attachment. Love is commonly contrasted with lust as an interpersonal relationship with romantic overtones. Love is sometimes contrasted with friendship, although the word love is often applied to close friendships or platonic love. Further, possible ambiguities come with use, usages, girlfriend, boyfriend, just good friends abstractly discussed love usually refers to an express experience one person feels for another love often involves caring for or identifying with a person or thing Vulner vulnerability and care theory of love including oneself carcism in addition to cross-cultural differences and Understanding love ideas about love have also changed greatly over time. Some historians date modern conceptions of romantic love to courtly Europe during or after the Middle Ages, although the prior existence of romantic attachments is attested by an ancient love poetry. The complex and abstract nature of love often reduces discourse of love to a thought terminating cliche several common proverbs regard love from Ver Virgil's love conquers all to beetle to the beetles all you need is love <sighs> street oh saint saint st thomas at Unas following Aristotle defines love as to will the good of another. Or Bertrand Russell describes love as a condition of absolute value as opposed to relative value. Philosopher Gottfried Leibniz said that love is to be Delighted by the happiness of another. Meher Baba stated that in love there is a feeling of unity as an active appreciation of the intrinsic worth of the object of love. Biologist, bio, biologist, biologist. German Jeremy Griffith defines love as unconditional selflessness. Impersonal love. People can be said to love an object, principle, or goal to which they are deeply committed and greatly value. For example, compassionate outreach and Volunteer workers' love of their cause may sometimes be born not of interpersonal love, but impersonal love. Altru ultra, altruism and strong spiritual or political convic 
actions. People can also love material objects, animals, or activities if they invest themselves in bonding or otherwise identifying with those things. If sexual passion is also involved, then this feeling is called paraphilia. A common principle that people say they love is lot they say they love is life itself. Oh, yeah. Interpersonal love. Interpersonal love refers to love between human beings. It is a much more potent sentiment than a simple liking for a person. Unrequited love refers to those feelings of love that are not reciprocated. Interpersonal love is most commonly associated with interpersonal relationships. Such love might exist between family members, friends, and couples. There are also a number of psychological disorders related to love, such as erotomania. Throughout history, philosophy and religion have done the most speculation on the phenomenon of love. In the 20th century, the science of psychology psychology has written a great deal on the subject in recent years the sciences of psychology and anthropology neuroscience and biology biology have added to the understanding the concept of love biological basis Main article, Biological Basis of Love. Biological models of sex tend to view love as a mammalian drive, such like hunger or th thirst. Helen Fisher, an anthropologist and human, and human behavior researcher, divides the experience of love into three partly overlaps Stages, lust, attraction, and attachment. Lust is a feeling of sexual desire. Romantic attraction determines what partners partners mates find attractive and pursue. Uh, excuse me. Conserving time and energy by choosing. And attachment involves sharing a home, parental duties, mutual defense, and in humans involving feelings of safety and security. Three distinct neural circuitries, including neural transmitters and three behavioral patterns are associated with these three romantic styles. Lust is the initial passionate sexual desire that promotes mating and involves the increased release of chemicals such as testosterone and estrogen. These effects rarely, mo rarely last more than a few weeks or months. Attraction is the most. Attraction is the more individualized and romantic desire for a specific can, candid, candidate for mating, which develops out of lust as commitment to an individual mate forms. Recent studies in neuroscience have indicated that as people fall in love, the brain consistently releases a certain set of chemicals including neurotransmitter hormones, dopamine, neuripinephrine, and serotonin, the same compounds released by Amphetamine. Yes. I'm uh, I'm heading to bed tonight. All right. Good night. And um, but if we went to uh, what are the other moles? Oh, the separate moles in the walls. <laughs> yeah. Bad joke. I'm joking. You you want to start? You want to start growing algae or something? Yes.
Do they have Do they have mold for algae? Probably do. That's what's that oxymoron or whatever. I don't know. Not an oxymoron. I grew I grew some algae. It grew um, less than a week. You still do it in here, though. No, it was outside. Anyway, like um, a week or, it was a week or two. Okay. Let me know when you want to order it. Yeah. I mean, do you want to make more? If no. I mean, uh, if you order two, I mean, you need to make more to pay them all back. Yeah. More work as far as I guess we're building a boss or stuff. Yeah, I guess uh, I could always raise the price or keep it at the same rate. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm just saying you have to have to make more clients to because because if I invest in it, it's more than just a hobby. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to do it full time. Yeah. Oh, think about it. Think about it later, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, because I need to really think about. Um, I think we can get it and then decide what, how we're gonna um, split the money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we'll think about that too, figure out how to do that. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I like I said, if I if you just gave me ninety five percent profit the next ten years, that would pay for it. Yeah, because right now, honestly, I'm selling the turtles for nine nine dollars. Sorry, what? I'm selling the turtles for nine shoes. The turtles. Turtles for the, the stepping stones. Yeah, for. How, how much did you say? I'm selling them each for $9. $9? Oh. Each, yeah. Well, I was totally joking about that 95%. I meant 96%. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it was something fair. We can figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah, well, that's that's part of life, you know. That's, yeah, that, that's what yeah, some people... would even agree to that. Well, well, not necessarily though, because you know you see some of the union members or some of the companies they get like more than seventy five percent, and they just pay their employees like the the remaining. Yeah, well, if if it was something like, no, nah, I'm not gonna say it, ninety five percent. But if if it did, if it was something like a high percentage, say fifty percent for the first ten things you sold, then it might be. Livable for the person you know, that's doing the work because after they sold 10, then they won't have to pay them any time. Yeah, you know say it's, but it's not gonna be like that. Okay. I was say, we just figure it out uh, later. I need to go, yeah, I need to go to bed earlier. You know, because I've okay. been too late last few nights. Well, actually, starting with last uh, Thursday night. Driving all the way up there, flying, had to get up early. So it's just last three years I've been behind you. Anyway, well, good night. Okay, Ken. Good I'm night. Better. Yep. I love you too, man. Good night. Can I turn off the AC? <laughs> The same compounds released by amphet. Uh, Amphetamine stimulating the brain's pleasure center and leading to side effects such as increased heart rate, loss of 
appetite and sleep and an intense feeling of excitement. Research has indicated that this thought stage generally lasts for from one and a half to three years. Since the lust and attraction stages are both considered temporary and third stage is needed to account for long-term relationships, attachment is the bonding that promotes relationships lasting for many years and even decades. Attachment is generally based on commitments such as marriage and children or on mutual friendship based on things like shared interest. It has been linked to higher levels of the chemicals oxytocin token and vasopressin to a greater degree in short term relationships have Enzo Emmanuel and co-workers reported the protein molecule known as the nerve growth factor NGF has high levels when people first fall in love but these return to previous levels after one year psychological basis for their formation human bonding psychological Psychology, psychology um, depicts love as a con, con, cognitive, cognitive and social phenomenon. Psychologist, psychologist Robert Sternberg formulated a triangular theory of love and argue that love has three different components intimacy commitment and passion intimacy is a form in which two people share confidences and various details of their personal lives and is usually shown in relate in friendships and romantic love affairs commitment on the other hand is the ex expectation that the relationship is permanent. The last form of love is sexual attraction and passion. Passionate love is shown in infatuation as well as romantic love. All forms of love are viewed as varying combinations of these three components. Wow, I didn't know there's three stages, people. I thought there was just the thir third base, you know? That's crazy. Wow, I really got to repent and see a doctor or not. I don't know. Still debating all this. Anyways, sorry for talking freely instead of keeping in line with what I was reading here. I mean, if you guys don't like my reading, you know, you guys can go somewhere else. It's that simple. But, sorry, let me continue. Shall I? Shall I? None love does not include any of these components. L liking only includes intimacy. Infatuated love only includes passion. Empty love only includes commitment. Romantic love includes both intimacy and passion. Compassionate love includes intimacy and commitment. I'm lost. Fatigue, fatuous love includes passion and commitment. Lastly, consummate love includes all three components. American psychologist Zick Rubin sought to define love by psychometrics in the 1970s. His work states that three factors constitute love attachment, caring, and, and intimacy. <sighs> Sorry, this is um, intense stuff. I would, I would have to really reread this and learn a lot, you know, a lot of these words to um, really understand this definition. Anyway, 
I'll continue following developments in electrical theories such as Coulomb's law. Um, which is, which shows that positive and negative charges attract, and now analogs in human life were developed, such as such as po op opposites attract. Opposites attract. Over the last century, research on the nature of human mating has generally found this not to be true when it comes to character and personality. People tend to like people similar to themselves. However, in a few unusual and specific domains, such as immune, immune systems, it seems that humans refer others who are unlike themselves with an ortho gone immune system since this will lead to a baby that has the best of both worlds in recent years various human bonding theories have been developed described in terms of attachments ties bonds and affinities some western authorities disagreed into Two main components, the altruistic and the narcistic. This view is represented in the works of Scott Heck, whose work is the field of applied psycho psychology, explored the definitions of love and evil. Heck maintains that love is a combination of the concern for the spiritual growth of another and simple narcissism in combination love is an activity not simply a feeling <sighs> psychologist eric from 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 maintained in his book the art of loving that love is not merely a feeling but it but is also actions and that in fact the feeling of love is superficial in comparison to one's Commitment to love via a series of loving actions over time. In this sense, from held that love is ultimately not a feeling at all, but rather is a commitment to and adherence to loving actions towards another, oneself, or many others over a sustained duration from also described love as a conscious choice that in its early stages might originate as an involuntary feeling but which then later no longer depends on those feelings but rather depends only on conscious commitment evolutionary basis evolution evolutionary psychology has attempted to provide various reasons for love as a survival tool humans are dependent on parental help for a large portion of their lifespans compared to other mammals love has therefore been seen as a mechanism to promote parental support of children for their for this extended time period furthermore researchers also researchers as early as Charles Darwin himself identified unique features of human love compared to other mammals and credit love as a major 
factor for creating social support systems that enable the development and expansion of the human species. Another factor may be that sexual transmitted diseases can cause, among other effects, permanently reduce fertility, injury to the fetus, and increase complications during childbirth. This would favor monogamous relationships over polygamy. Comparison of scientific models. Biological models of love tend to see it as a mammalian drive, similar to hunger or thirst. Psychology sees love as more of a social and cultural phenomenon. Certainly, love is influenced by hormones such as oxytocin, neuro, no, neuro Trophins such as NGF and pheromones. pheromones and how people think and behave in love is influenced by their concepts of love. That environmental view in biolog bi biology biology is that there are two major drives in love. Sexual attraction and attachment. Attachment between adults it is presumed to work on the same principles that lead an infant to become attached to its mother. The traditional psychological view sees love as being a combined uh, combination of companion companion compassionate love and compassionate love compassionate love is an, is intense longing and is often compassion accompanied by psychological arousal Shortness of breath, <gasps> like me right now, just reading. Oh my god, I could I could kind of relate to what they feel. I think rapid heart rate. I don't have that. Companion, companionate love is affected. Is affection, affection, and a feeling of intimacy. And intimacy not accompanied by psychological arousal. I don't know what I just read. This stuff is, um, I'm a sucky reader. Ancient Greek. See also Greek words for love. Greek distinguishes several different senses in which the word love is used. Ancient Greeks identified four forms of love. Kinship. Or familiarity in Greek storage, friendship, and or platonic desire, uh, philia, sexual and or romantic desire, eros, and self emptying or divine love, uh, agap. Modern authors have distinguished further varieties of romantic love. However, with Greek, as with many other languages, it has been historically difficult to separate the meanings of these words totally. At the same time, the ancient Greek text of the Bible has examples of the verb ago, gop, o, having the same meaning as Filio, agape, um, means love is modern day Greek. The term agapo means I love you in Greek. The word agapo in the verb is the verb I love. It generally refers to a pure 
ideal type of love rather than the physical attraction suggested by e Eros. However, there are some examples of agape used to mean the same as Eros. It has also been translated as love of the soul. Eros from the Greek from the Greek deity Eros is passionate love with sensual desire and longing. The Greek word erota means in love. Plato refined his own definition. Although eros is in initially felt for a person with contemplation, it becomes an appreciation of the beauty within that person or even becomes a appreciation of beauty itself eros helps the soul recall knowledge and beauty of beauty and contributes to an understanding of spiritual truth lovers and philosophers are all inspired to seek truth by eros some translations list it as Love of the body, um, philia, a passionate, virtuous love was a concept addressed and developed by Aristotle, excuse me, in his Nicomachean Ethics book. I would believe it was like this means like volume something number and I don't know V111 it includes loyalty to French friends I thought I was gonna say friendships to friends family and community and requires virtue equality and familiarity Philia is motivated by practical reasons. One or both of the parties benefit from the relationship. It can also mean love of the mind. Storage is natural affection like that felt by parents for us offspring. Exenia, hospitality, was an extremely important practice in ancient Greece. It was an, an almost ritualized, ritualized friendship formed between a host and his guest, who could previously have been strangers. The host fed and provided quarters for the guest, who was expected to reply, repay only with gratitude. The importance of this can be seen throughout Greek mythology. In particular, Homer's Lead and Odyssey. Ancient Roman Latin. The Latin language has several different verbs corresponding to the English word love. Amo is a basic verb meaning I love with the definitive um, amer, amer to love. At, as it still is in Italy today. The Romans used it both in an affectionate sense as well as in a romantic or sexual sense. From this verb came a man's, a lover, a mater, professional lover, often with an accessory notion of that Churi and Amicia girlfriend in the English sense often being applied infamistically to a prostitute. The corresponding noun is amor. The significance of this term for the Romans is well illustrated in the fact that the name of the city Rome in Latin Roma can be viewed as a as an anagram anagram for a 
anagram for Amor, which was used as the secret name of the city in wide circles in ancient times, which also which is also used in the plural form to indicate love affairs or sexual adventures. This same root also produces a mixus friend and a mysitia friendship often based to mutual advantage in correspondence sometimes more closely to indebtedness or influence. Cicero wrote a treatise called it called on friendship the Amicitia, which discusses the notion at some length. Ovid wrote a guide to dating called Ars Amatoria, the Art of Love, which addresses in depth everything from e extramarital affairs to overprotective parents. Latin sometimes uses a mare, where English would simply say to like. This notion, however, is more, much more generally expressed in Latin by the terms lacere or delectare, which are used more colloquially. Colo Colloquially, the letter used frequently in the love poetry of Catullus Delegri often has the notion to be affectionate for to esteem and rarely, if ever, is used for romantic love. This word would be appropriate to describe the friendship of two men. The corresponding noun diligentia, however, has the meaning of diligence or carefulness and has little semantic, semantic overlap with the verb. Observer is a synonym for delegory, despite the cognate with English. This verb and its corresponding noun observitia often denote esteem or, or affection. Caritias is used in Latin translations of the Christian Bible to mean charitable love. This meaning, however, is not found in a classical pagan Roman literature as it arises from a conf conflation with a Greek word there is no corresponding verb. Chinese and other Sinic cultures. Two philosophical underpinnings of love exist in the Chinese tradition. One from Con Confucianism, which emphasized actions and duty, while the other came from Mohism, which com uh, championed a universal love, a core concept to Confuci Confu Conf 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 Confucianism is benevolent love which focuses on duty action and attitude in a relationship rather than love itself it can fuck a i don't know that word i don't i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right one displays benevolent 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 love by performing actions such as filial piety from children, kindness from parents, loyalty to the king, and so forth. The concept of Medrin was developed by the Chinese philosopher Mozi in the 4th century BC in reaction to Confucianism. 
Christianism's men of violent love, Mozzi, tried to replace what he considered to be the long entrenched Chinese over attachment to family and clan structures with the concept of universal love. I obviously can't pronounce this. Chain. Ah, e is this in this he argued directly against Confucians <laughs> who believed that it was natural and correct for people to care about different people in different degrees. Mosey, by contrast, believed people in <laughs> principle should care for all people equally. Oh my gosh, see this is when I would get kicked out of class, people. Just my freaking spelling sucks. That too and my reading. Anyways. Oh my god. Mohism stressed that rather than adopting different attitudes towards different people, love should be unconditional and offered to everyone without regard to re reciprocation, not just to friends, family, and other confucanes. Confucane relations. <laughs> Later in Chinese Buddhism, the term AI, AI, AI was adopted to refer to a passionate, caring love and was considered a fundamental desire. In um, Buddhism, AI, or AI, AI, AI uh, was seen as capable of being either selfish or selfless, the latter being a key element towards enlight enlightenment. <sighs> In Mandarin Chinese, um, he uh, is often used as the equivalent of the Western concept of love. He uh, is used as both a verb, wu ni ai, or I love you, <laughs> and a noun such as act queen or romantic love. However, due to the influence of Confucian, the phrase, uh, I, need, I love you, carries with a very specific sense of responsibility and, oh, it doesn't say and, responsibility, commitment, and loyalty. Instead of frequently saying, I love you, as in some Western societies, the Chinese are more likely to express feelings of affection in, more, in a more casual way. Consequently, I like you. Ooh, ki ni ni is a more common way of expressing affection in Chinese. It is more playful and less serious. This is also true in Japanese. Suki da, Chinese, Jap Japanese. The Japanese language uses three words to convoy the English equal 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 valent of love because love covers a wide range of emotions and behavioral phenomena there are nuances distinguishing the three terms the term AI which is often associated with maternal love or selfless love originally referred to beauty and was often used in religious context following the Meiji Restoration 1868 the term became associated with love in order to translate Western literature prior to Western influence the term Koei generally represented romantic love and was often the ob subject of the popular Min Yushu Japanese poetry collection. Koei describes a longing for a member of the opposite sex and is typically in 
interpreted as selfless and wanting. The term's origins origins come from the concept of lonely and solitude as a result of separation from a loved one. Through modern usage of KO focuses on sexual love and infatuation infatuation. The manual used the term to cover a wider range of situations, including tenderness, venal violence, and maternal material desire. The ter third term, renia, is often is a more modern constru construction that common combines the kaji character for both a and kaya koi through. Though its usage more like more closely resembles that of Kiwi in the form of a romantic love. India in contemporary contemporary literature, Kama refers usually to sexual desire. However, the term also refers to any sensory enjoyment, emotional attraction, and aesthetic pleasure such as from 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 arts dance music painting sculpture and nature the concept kama is found is found in some of the earliest known verses in veda for example book 10 of rig veda describes the creation of the universe from nothing by the great heat there is there in him 129 it states therefore rose desire in the beginning desire the primal seed and germ of spirit sages who search with their hearts thought discovered the existence kinship in the non-existent Persian, Rumi, Hafiz, and Sadi are icons of the passion and love that the Persian culture and language present. The Persian word for love is ishq, which is derived from Arabic language. However, it is considered by most to be stalwart, a term for interpersonal love, and is more commonly dis substituted for door dash stain liking in the Persian culture everything is income passed by love and all is for love starting from loving friends and family husbands and wives eventually reaching the divine love that is the ultimate goal of life religious views main article religious views on love Abrahamic religions Jude, Judaism, see also Jewish views on love. In Hebrew, Ahava uh, is the most, excuse me, commonly used term for both interpersonal love and love between God and God's creation. She is often re related as loving kindness is used to describe many forms of love between human beings. The commandment to love other people is given in the Torah, which states, love your neighbor like yourself, Leviticus 19.18. The Torah commandment to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, Deuteronomy 6.5, is, is taken by the Mishnah and central text of the Jewish oral law to refer to good deeds, willingness to sacrifice one's life rather than commit certain serious transgressions, willingness to sacrifice all of one's possessions, and being grateful to the Lord despite adversity. Tractate Barachoth 9.5 Rabbinic literature refers to as, as to how this love can be developed. E.g. example, I think, by complete contemplated divine deeds or witnessing the marvels of nature as for love between marital partners this is deemed as as as, as deemed 
an essential ingredient to life. See life with the wife you love. Ecclesiastes 9.9 Rabbi David Wolp, he writes that love is not only about the feelings of the lover, it is when the one person believes and another person shows it. He further states that love is a feeling that expresses itself in action. What we really feel is reflected in what we do. The biblical book, Song of Solomon, is considered a romantically phrased metaphor of love between God and his people, but it, it, in its plain reading, reads like a love song. The 20th century rabbi Elihu Elizer Desler is frequently quoted as defining love from the Jewish point of view as giving without expecting to take from his Meshtev Me Volume 1 Christianity. The Christian understanding is that love comes from God. The love of man and woman, eros, is in Greek, and the unselfish love of others, agape, are often contrasted con as this descending, descending and ascending love, respectively, but are ultimately the same thing. There are several Greek words for love that are regularly referred to in Christian circles. Agape is the, in the New Testament, agape is charitable, selfless, whole, altruistic, and conditional. It is parental love seen, seen as creating goodness in the world. It, it is the way God is seen to love humanity, and it is seen as the kind of love that Christians aspire to have for one another. Filio, also used in the New Testament, filio is a human response to something that is found to be delightful, also known as brotherly love. The two other words for the love in the Greek language, eros, sexual love, and storage, child to parent love, were never used in the New Testament. Christians believe that the love of God Well, child to love, parent love were never used in the New Testament. Well, that's kind of wrong because Mary was looking for Jesus and Jesus said, you know, why do you look for me? You know, don't you know that I have to do my father's will in heaven or something like that? So, you know, she had that um, love towards him, right? He probably didn't though. But anyway, Christians, he had the agape love. Everyone knows that you know, higher, way up there, you know, like a baller would, you know, like brag about his riches, anyways, you know, cars, girls, ladies, you know, boats, skydiving, vacations, giving money to the poor, you guys get the mojo, jojo, Christians, believe that to love God with all your heart, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself are the two most important things in life. I mean, I only brought this up because we're talking about Christianity, so whatever. So, strength, love, your neighbor as yourself as, are the two most important things in life. The greatest commandment of the Jewish Torah, according to Jesus, um, CF, Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34, St. Augustine, Summarized this when he wrote, Love God and do all as thou wilt. The Apostle Paul glorified love as the most important virtue of all, describing love in the famous poetic interpretation in 1 Corinthians. He wrote, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self seeking, it is not, not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 NIV. The Apostle John wrote, For God so loved the world that he gave his, own, his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. John 3, 16-17, and Navi, John also wrote, 
Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love God does not love does not know God, because God is love. First John four, seven through eight in NIV. Saint Augustine says that one more one must be able to decipher the difference between love and lust. Lust, according to Saint Augustine, is an over over in indulgence but to love and be loved is what he has sought for his entire life he even says i was in love with love finally he does fall in love and is loved back by god saint augustine says the only one who can love you truly and fully is god because love with a human only allows for flaws such as jealousy which is true jealousy oh my god i can't even look at you you know your man's already like towering over me. Suspicion. Can't even like say nothing. No clues whatsoever. Fear is always present. Anger. I see it in your husband's freaking eyes. And contention. I don't know what word that means. What this word means. Contention. Anyways. It's probably something God has, or the devil. I don't know. Obviously, right? One of them. It has to be positive or negative. But according to St. Augustine, to love God is to attain to peace which is yours. St. Augustine's, Augustine's, um, sorry, con Augustine's confessions. Augustine regards the dip duplex commandment of love in Matthew 22 as the heart of Christian faith and the interpretation of the Bible. After re after the review of Christian doctrine, doctrine Augustine retreat, treats the problem of love in terms of use and employment until the end of the book of De Doctrina Christiana 1.22.21 through 1.40.44. Christian theologians see God as a source of love which is mirrored in humans and their own loving relationships. Influential Christian theologian, theologian C.S. Lewis wrote a book called Four Loves. The Four Loves, Benedict uh, XVI, named his first encyclopedia. In encyclical God is love. He said that a human being created in the image of God who is love is able to practice love to give himself to God and others agape and by receiving and experiencing God's love in contemplation eros this love of life this life of love according to him is the life of the saint, saints such as Teresa of Calcutta and the Blessed Virgin Mary and is the direct Christians take when they believe that God loves them. Pope Francis taught that people love uh, um, Pope Francis taught that true love is both uh, this is irritating me because I want to just finish already. It's like there's a lot of reading, you know. <sighs> love, true love is both loving and letting one's all by love, be loved. What is important is in love is not our loving, but allowing ourselves to be loved by God. And so in the analysis of a Catholic theologian, theologian for Pope Francis, the key to love is not our activity. It is the activity of the greatest and the source of all the powers in the universe, gods. In Christianity, the pr practical definition of love is summarized by S.T. Thomas Aquinas, which, who defines love as to will the good of another or to desire for another to succeed. This is an explanation of the Christian need to love others, including their enemies. As Thomas Aquinas explains, Christian love is motivated by the need to see others, others succeed in life to be good people. 
regarding love for enemies jesus is quoted in the gospel of math of uh, matthew chapter 5 you have heard that it was said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i tell you love your enemies and pray for those who per persecute you that you may be children of your father in heaven he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous if you love those who love you what reward do you, will you get are not even the tax collectors doing that and if you greet only your own people what are you doing more than others? Do not even the pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5, 43-48 Do not forget to love with forgiveness. Christ saved an adulterous woman from those who would stone her. A world of wrong hypocrites need forgiving love. Mosaic law would have told Deuteronomy 22, 22-24, if a man is found lying with a woman married to a husband, then both of them shall die. The man, oh, that's interesting that it says that because, you know, both of them should die. And what happened when, uh, what happened when, you know, they're trying to stone Jesus to death or the woman, but Jesus really, they caught the woman in the very act but the man wasn't dragged out only the woman and they're ready to stone her and jesus said let the one that never sinned throw the first stone or something like that <sighs> you see because they wanted him to say yes yeah, stone her so they could stone him to death as well um and they these were like pharisees these were people that were considered, you know, Christians at that time. So what happened to the guy? I don't know. Maybe he was in the crowd. Maybe they all were in that, in the very act. You know, who knows? I, you know, the Bible doesn't really clarify that stuff. So I, I'm sorry if, you know, you're imagining stuff and your mind's in the gutter now. You know, that's on you. Anyway, uh, both of them should shall die. The man that lay with a woman and the woman, so you shall put away the evil from Israel. If a young, um, if a young woman who is a virgin is betrothed to a husband, and a man finds her in the city and lies with her, then you shall bring them both out at the gate of that city, and you shall stone them to death with stones. The young woman, because she did not cry out in the city, and the man, because he hum his neighbor's wives so you shall put away the evil from among you uh, Tertullian wrote regarding love for enemies our individual extraordinary and perfect goodness consists of loving our enemies to love one's friends is common practice to love one's enemies only among Christians Islam whoop whoop Love encompasses the Islamic view of life as universal brotherhood that applies to all who hold faith. Amongst the 99 names of God, Allah, there is the name Allah uh, Al-Wadud, or the Loving One, which is found in Surah, as well as Surah. God is also referred as the beginning of every chapter in the Quran as Ar-Rahman and Rim. Ramin or the most compassionate and the most merciful indicating that nobody is more loving compassionate and benevolent than God the Quran refers to God as being full of loving kindness the Quran exhorts Muslims believers to treat all people those who have not persecuted them with barrel beaver or deep kindness as stated in surah Beer is also used by the Quran in describing the love and kindness that children must show to their parents. Ishiyak or divine love is the emphasis of Sufism in the Islamic tradition. Practitioners of Sufism believe that love is a projection of the essence of God to the universe. God desires to recognize beauty. As it and as if one looks as at a mirror to see oneself, God looks at himself within the dynamics of nature. Since everything is a reflection of God, the school of 
Sufism practices to see the beauty inside the apparently ugly. Sufism is often referred to as a religion of love. God is so Sufism. Fishism is referred to in three main terms, which are the lover, loved, and beloved, with the last of these terms being often seen in Sufi poetry. A common viewpoint of Sufism is that through love, humankind can get back to its <laughs> purity and grace. The saints of Sufism are infamous for being drunk due to their love of God. Hence, the content, constant reference to wine in Sufi poetry and music. Baha faith. Baha, um, Baha faith. In his par in his Paris talks, Abdu. Baha described four types of love. The love that flows from God to human beings. The love that flows from human beings to God. The love of God towards the self or identity of God. And the love of human beings for human beings. Indian religions. Buddhism. In Buddhism... Kama is sensual, sensuous, sexual love. It is an obstacle on the path to enlightenment since it is selfish. Karuna is compassionate and mercy, which reduces, reduces the suffering of others. It is complementary to wisdom and is necessary for enlightenment. Adversa and Metta are the benevolent love. This love is unconditional and requires considerable self-acceptance. This is quite different from ordinary love, which is usually about attachment and sex, and which, and which rarely occurs without self-interest. Instead, in Buddhism, it refers to detachment and unselfish interest in others' welfare. The Bodhisattva ideal in Mahayana Buddhism involves the complete renunciation re of oneself in order to take on the burden of the suffering world. The strongest motivation on one has in order to take the path of the Buddhisattva is the idea of salvation within unselfish altruistic love for all sentient beings Hinduism main article Kama and Kama Sutra in Hinduism Kama is pleasurable sexual love personified by the god Kama Deva from many Hindu schools, it is a third end Kama in life. Kama Diva is often pictured holding a bow of sugar cane and an arrow of flowers. He may ride upon a great pair of. Excuse me. He is usually accompanied, accompanied by his concert. Ratai, Ratai, and have and his companion, Vasanta, Lord of the Spring Season. Stone images of Kamadeva and Rati, Rati can be seen on the door of the Shinakhava Temple at Delhi, in Karnataka, India. Mara is another name for Kama. In contrast to Kama, Prima or Prim refers to elevation, elevated love. Karuna is compassion and mercy, which impels one to help reduce the suffering of, of others. 
Kahati is a Sanskrit term meaning love devoted to the Supreme God. A person who practices Bhakti is called a Bhakta. Hindu writers, theolo theologians, and philosophers have distinguished nine forms of Bhakti which can be found in the Bhagavata Prana in works by Tulsidas, the philosophical 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 work Narada Kahati Sutras written by an unknown author presumed to be Narada distinguishes eleven forms of love. In certain Vaishnava sects within Hinduism attaining an adulterated unconditional in, in, incessant love for Godhead is considered the foremost goal of life. Gayadiya Vaishnavas who worship Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead and the cause of all causes consider love for God had prema to act <coughs> in two ways sab sem bahaga and vipalma union and separation to opposites in the condition of separation there is an acute yearning for being with the loved and in the condition of union there is supreme happiness and Nectarine, Nectarine, Gaidiya, Vaishnavas consider the Krishna Prema love for Godhead is not fire, but that it it still burns away one's material desires. They do consider the that Krishna Prema is not a weapon, but it still pierces the heart. It is not water, but it washes away everything. Thing, one's pride, religious rules, and one's shyness. Krishna Prema is considered to make one drown in the ocean of trans transcendental ecstasy and pleasure. The love of Radha, a cowherd girl from Krishna, is often cited as the supreme example of love for Godhead by Krishna Vishnava. Radhya is considered to be the internal potency of Krishna and is the supreme love of Godhead. Her example of love is considered to be beyond the understanding of a material realm as it is as it surpasses any form of selfish love or lust that is visible in the material world. The reciprocal love between Radha, the supreme lover, and Krishna, God as the supreme loved is the subject of many poetic compassions in India such as the Gata Govidya and Hari Kahati Sudahiya in the Bhakti tradition within Hinduism it is believed that execution a devotional service to God leads to the development of love for God Tashi Bhakti Pal Krishna Prama Upajaya and also love for God increases in the heart the more one becomes free from material contamination. Krishna Prama Asvada Heli Bhava Nasa Paya being perfectly in love with God or Krishna makes one perfectly free from material contamination and this is the ultimate way of salvation or liberation in this tradition salvation or liberation is considered inferior to love and just an incidental byproduct being absorbed in love for God is considered to be the perfection of love political views free love main article free love the term free love has been used to describe a social movement that 
rejects marriage, which is seen as a form of social bondage. The free love movement's initial goal was to separate the state from sexual matters such as marriage, birth control, and adultery. It claimed that such issues were the ter concern of the people involved and no one else. Many people in the early 19th century believed that marriage was an important aspect of life to fulfill earthly human happiness. Middle class Americans wanted the, the home to be a place of stability in an uncertain world. This men mentality created a vision of strongly defined gender roles, which provoked the advancement of the free love movement as a contrast. The term sexual the term sex radical has been used interchangeably with the term free lover by whatever name advocates advocates have two strong beliefs composition to the idea of forceful sexual activity and then relationship and advocacy advocacy for a woman to use her body in any in any way that she pleases these are also beliefs in of feminism. Philosophical views. Main article, philosophy of love. The philosophy of love is a field of social philosophy and ethics that uh, attempts to explain the nature of God. The philosophical investigation of love includes the task of distinguishing between the various kinds of personal love, asking if and how love is or can be justified, asking what the value of love is and what impact love has on the autonomy of both the lover and the beloved. Many different theories attempt to explain the nature and function of love, explaining love to a hypoth hypothetical person who has had who had not himself or herself experienced love or being loved would be very difficult because to his, to such a person love would appear to be quite strange and if not outright irrational behavior among the prevailing types of theories that attempt to account for the existence of love are psych physical psychological theories the vast majority of which consider love to be very healthy behavior. <laughs> Evolutionary theories which hold that love is part of the process of natural, natural selection. Um, spiritual theories which may, for instance, consider love to be a gift from a god. Uh, the theories that consider love to be an unexplainable mystery very much like a mystical experience and that's it people this is the definition of love from Wikipedia the free encyclopedia thank you very much